All right. Isn't that beautiful? It is the question we have on the board and that we are required to find the values of y and x. But if we look at the equation, the equation is this log of x plus log of y is equal to zero and x plus 2y is equal to 3. Well, we are required to find the values of x and y. So this two, we're looking for the answers. Okay, beautiful. We're looking for the values of x and y. So how do you go about it? If, I, if we look at the, the equations, we see that um, they are mixed. So mixed equation because, you know, we have log, the first one, if I, if I say um, log x plus log of y to be equal to zero, I call this equation one, and the x plus two y is equals to three as equation two. Okay. Then how do you go about it? Well they are they are mixed. Well I want to make a note here, please. Before you solve this question, note before you, you solve this question, you see we usually we usually we usually write, we usually, we usually don't write the normal logarithm to the base term. Because unless, unless, unless that, unless that particular logarithm has a unique, unique base. So, for as if I have log. 3x plus uh, 3x 3 base 3x three plus log to base 4y you see that uh, we have different in this scenario we have different base okay so but if it's not specific it's not specified then we assume that a log is to the base term so in this wise let's recap okay if we have a log okay x or log a plus log b we always know that this is log a b okay so this is the number one of the properties of logarithm the addition logarithm with log a to the log a plus log b is equal to log a b but this one it means as log to the base term a plus log to the base term b is equal to log to the base term a b you see so this is what we have to you know have it in mind if you want we solve them something like that okay so now let's see the equation given we have log okay we have log we have log x plus log y is equal to zero that's our equation one okay as I said because it is not spec specified that this is log with a unique base, that means assumption is this, 
is log to the base term and log to the base term here. Okay, so if we apply this property to this property, to this equation, then we say log to the base term x plus log to the base term y is equal to log to the base term x, y, which is equal to zero. Okay, so this can be written as log to the base term x, y is equal to zero. Now, remember, if we have, remember, if we have, okay, so recap, that will help us to understand. If we have log p m, log to the base p m is equal to l, then we can say that m is equal to p raised to the power l. So this is one of the properties. We If we apply this knowledge to that equation, then we can say that log to the base term x, y is equal to zero can be written as x, y equals to 10 raised to the power zero. But we know that 10 raised to the power zero is one. So therefore, this equation is x, y equals to what? One. And let's call this one equation two. We can further say that this equation can be written as y equals to one over x. So actually, let's call this one equation two. Okay, so this equation, yes, if you look, if you look at this equation, okay, and we'll compare this one to the normal equation that, which is, which says the x plus 2y is equal to what, three. Okay, this is our second, this is, this is our second equation. So let's call this one equation three. Okay, equation three. So this one is second equation. Then we can combine this equation and solve them simultaneously because we have gotten rid of the logarithm. So when we say put equation three and two, okay, then our equation is going to be x plus 2 1 over x is equal to 3 so when we simplify this okay this is x squared plus um, 2 is equal to 3x okay so this is x minus 3 x plus 2 is equal to 0 Okay, so as quadratic in as quadratic in S. Okay, so as quadratic in X. So now we can solve this. Okay, we all know that when we simplify this, we are going to get X minus two and x minus one is equal to zero. Okay, so this implies that x is equal to two and x is equal to one. Oh, these are the values. So now with these values, okay, we can substitute this, substitute these values. These values okay this values respectively into our equation our equation y is equals to one over x y is equals to one over x so if when x is equals to two y is equals to one over two and when x is equals to 1, y is equals to 
one over one. So therefore, the coordinate, respective coordinates, as we can see, one x is equal to two, y is half, or one x is equal to one, y is one. So hence, these are the values of the equation. So I think this is self-explanatory, but uh, we have to break it down further for us to be able to understand it from the scratch. Okay, so the question was log to the base x plus log to the base y is equals to zero, and the x plus two y is equals to three. So we know when we put them together, as I said, so we usually don't write the normal logarithm to the base time, unless that particular logarithm has a unique base. Like this, so you have a log to the base three x and log to the base four y. They have different, you know, base. So we have to specify it. But if the bases are not unique, then an assumption is that log is raised to the that log is to the base term. So, and our recap was we know that log a, okay. Our log a, okay, log a, and um, our log a plus log b is, is, is always given as log a b. So that means the product of a and b. So when we apply this to our equation, okay, as I said, goes this one. Now we have to goes. We have to look at it from different angles. This is log to the base time a plus log to the base time b is called the product a b to the log to the base term but we usually don't write it that, that way okay so when we apply this to our equation then we make sure that the log x to the base term log y to the base term is equal to zero then when we apply it to the the principle of log logarithm or the property of logarithm this okay then we have this then we say log to the base term x, y is equal to 0. Now, we go to this point where we say log to the base p, m is equal to l. Then we can see the m now will be equal to the base raised to the power l. So we apply the same thing to this. And that's what we have. x, y to be equal to 10 raised to the power 0. But we all know that 10 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1. So when we substituted, x y became one. So x y is now equals to one. Then we so let's call it equation three, and we made y the subject for the from from the equation three. Now we brought our equation x plus two y is equal to three back. Then we solve it simultaneously. Yeah, simultaneously. Okay, so simultaneously, then we put three in one. So then equation became x plus two all out one over x is equal to three. And we, when we substituted, we had a quadratic equation. We resolved, we resolved a quadratic equation. We had the values to be s equals to two and s equals to one. Then we did a back substitution here, okay? Then after that, our answer is we go from the y, where y is equals to half, and y is equals to one over one, which is one. So this is the final answer to this equation, GCSC final exams. Well, thank you very much for your time, and hope to see you around. Thank you.